What's up guys, welcome to a new video on this channel. As you may have seen during the last months, my channel has been full of showcase videos featuring Lucario. And in today's video we will talk about everyone's favorite tech with Lucario, Aura Sphere Cancel and Footstool. Before stopping the video and hitting the unsub button because there already have been so many showcases, let me mention the reason for me to upload an actual guide-like video for this certain tech. First of all, it's not just stylish, but also actually gives you so many good opportunities during battle. And also many people in the past asked me if I could do an actual how-to video for that, featuring my inputs and also explaining a few additional things instead of just making all these showcases. And with many people I mean one person which just didn't stop asking me for this video. <laughs> If you have any ideas for future videos, let me know in the comment section and now without further delay, let's get started. First of all, the basics. Say my actual controls. You can see them now on screen. Most important tip from me is to set shield to Y or X so that you can make use of aura sphere cancelling fast enough. The rest pretty much isn't something you have to change to perform a footstool out of aura sphere. Just use the controls you feel the most comfortable with while playing. Stick sensitivity is set to high for my controls, but that's also something which you don't have to change. I've tested the footstool tag with every option and of course it does work with every option as well. Now let's talk about the actual inputs, starting with the footstool itself. Jumping above the opponent while holding the left control stick in the direction your opponent is standing and pressing jump for a second time while he's right below you will give you the most wonderful sound of this game. When your opponent is in the air while we footstool him, we'll get into a tech situation, which is an important part of possible follow-ups. At this point it's important to know that footstools are techable in Ultimate. So, as already mentioned in the past showcase videos, your follow-up options can change depending on your opponent's reaction. Now for the interesting part. We will use Aura Sphere Charge to get our opponent into the air so that we can footstool him to cause the tech situation we are aiming for. <laughs> Was it too fast? Okay, then once again in order. Orosphere charge, jump, pressing jump button a second time to cause the footstool and then diagonally air dodging to the ground. It's important to slightly move in the direction of your opponent after he is trapped in the Orosphere charge. Say we are moving behind us, pressing jump for the footstool and then immediately air dodging to the ground. Based on my experience, landing the footstool out of only one Aura Sphere charge actually is a bit more difficult and it requires more practice. Another tip, you can use an instant double jump after cancelling Aura Sphere charge. Then after you moved above your opponent it's easier to land the footstool as you don't have your double jump left to avoid accidentally jumping instead of footstooling your opponent. In the worst case, you just footstool your opponent while he's on the ground, which will cause that there will be no tech situation to make use of. Still, it's a good thing we can also make use of a second Aura Sphere Charge. Again in order. Aura Sphere Charge, pressing jump, another Aura Sphere Charge, using our double jump to cancel the second Aura Sphere Charge, and while we're in the air, after double jumping we move to our opponent and press jump to cause the footstool only to then air dodge to the ground again. In my opinion it's easier to use two Aura Sphere Charges, because your opponent's position then is higher in the air, which makes causing the tech situation a lot easier than with just one Aura Sphere Charge. Okay, now let's talk about some use cases after we performed the footstool. With other words, what can we do out of it? 
I won't talk about this too detailed because of the many showcases I already uploaded, but let's take a look at one or two examples. Again, footstools are taggable, but what if your opponent misses the tag because of wrong timing or maybe even the connection while playing online? One way is to punish the missed tag with a jab lock. Lucario's Jab 1 is a perfect tool to make use of here. Other important tools can be Aura Sphere Charge or the first hit of Lucario's Down Air. If your opponent doesn't tech but still manages to react by rolling for example, or if your timing of the air dodge wasn't fast enough, you also always can go for a hard read. This in my opinion actually is the much easier option in general, especially when playing online. If you get a read, you can punish the general reaction of your opponent with a strong hit, for example a smash attack. So with a right prediction you'll get a high reward as for hard reads in general. This brings me to the next point, when to actually use Aurosphere Cancel and Footstool. Well, as it's a generally unexpected tech, there is no exact when at this point. As the main intention of this tech is to cause a tech situation which you want to punish, I'd suggest to make use of it when you have at least a decent level of aura and your opponent is at kill percent. It doesn't matter what you use as the opening for this tech, by the way, no matter if reverse special, B reverse or wave bounce, the main thing is to trap your opponent in the aura sphere charge. It can also work at low aura and when your opponent is at low percents as well. And also it should work on every character of the roster. Last but not least my personal opinion about this tech in general. I know that it's something which can be seen as more stylish than actually useful, but still, as you could have seen, it can open some pretty good and especially useful options. If you want to look at them, check out the several showcase videos I did in the past, all linked in the description. And also, this tag is a pretty creative way to take a stock in my opinion, and creativity definitely ain't a bad thing. Make sure that patience is an important factor. It can take some time until you can land the footstools regularly during battle. Also, as already mentioned, never forget that the connection can be an important factor when playing online. Not to mention that your opponent can tag the footstool to avoid getting hit by a jab lock. If you still have trouble landing it, make sure to keep on practicing, especially on bigger and heavier characters. It can be easier to practice landing the footstool after Aura Sphere Charge. With that, I will say thank you for watching this short guide. Really hope I could help you with it. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comment section. And as always, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye!